Here we have example two for how to write a slope intercept form equation. We want to first figure out what our slope is, so we're going to do our deltas. How do you go from 2 to 11? Hopefully you say add 9. How do you go from 5 to 10? Again, hopefully you say add 5. That means that we have a slope defined as delta y over delta x of 9 fifths. You're going to leave that as an improper fraction. As we write our equation, we're going to say y equals delta y, delta x, x plus c. We're half done. We can plug that slope right into the slope intercept form. So we can say y equals 9 fifths x plus c. Next, we want to plug a point in. As you plug a point in, doesn't matter which set you use, just pick a set and plug it in. I'm going to go with the 5, 2 because the numbers are a little smaller. That means I put the 2 in for the y and the 5 in for the x. And I want to solve for c. I want to find the y-intercept. As I solve here, I can cancel these 5's out. Say 2 equals 9 plus c. I can move the 9 over. So I have 2 minus 9 is equal to c. Negative 7 equals c. This gives me my equation. I can now say y equals 9 fifths x minus 7. As I describe that, I'm looking at this equation. It's a slope. It's the intercept. I can predict what the line looks like. It should be a steep incline. Again, because my slope was 9 fifths, Improper fraction means that it's step, steep, and because it's positive, it's an incline. The y-intercept, always listed as an ordered pair, so I can go 0, and I just take this number, negative 7. That means it will intercept the y-axis 7 units beneath the origin. That is example 2 on how to write a slope-intercept form equation. And this is my equation right there, slope-intercept.